Welcome to another episode in the 23 part collection. This is 23 Michael Jordan videos in 23 days all through December. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Today we are looking at the untold story when Michael Jordan scored 96 points in back to back games after the worst game of his NBA career. These stories are just insane. Washington Wizards Michael Jordan, but with all these NBA legends going through what happened in these games. It is crazy. So if you're ready, be sure to help me out by hitting that like button. Let's aim for 5,000 likes for the next episode tomorrow. Subscribe if you are new for more MJ videos through December and hit that notification button so you are notified when a new episode releases as we're doing one every single day through December. There is a playlist as well if you want to check out the full playlist of MJ videos that have been made already and be sure to check out the full videos and their links in the description box down below and on the screen right now. Shout out to them if you want to watch them in their entirety. But I don't want to keep you guys waiting so welcome to the untold story when Michael Jordan scored 96 points in back to back games. Enjoy. Hey, you know how the people love oh, Mike. Man, like, how was, was that just them season with Mike and just to see him working? To be 40. Right. Averaging 20. Aver <laughs> on one leg. On one on leg. On one leg. I know you love it. Look at you. I'm just <laughs> listening, bro. Still, you know, you still know. on this guard. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man, like, it was it was incredible. Like just like it was unreal. Like it was unreal. But like I was in awe again. Like seeing Michael Jordan somewhere we all idolize. Everybody did. I don't care what you say. Yeah. Everybody idolized Michael Jordan. We use that to set up this conversation with uh, Doug Collins, who's good enough to spend the entire show with us this morning. Uh, you coached Michael early yes. in his career, then you actually coached him at the very end of his career in Washington as well, but you know Jordan as well as anybody does. Michael had hired me. He was the part owner and president GM, hired me to be the coach, and then he came back to play. I'll tell you an interesting story about, uh, about the greatness of Michael Jordan. When I was coaching in Washington, we played the Indiana Pacers, and we were down 25 at the end of the third quarter. Now it's a distinct difference playing against Michael Jordan as he was leading the Bulls versus Michael Jordan, he's playing for the Wizards. So I'm taking him on the pole, jump hooking over him, scoring buckets. I had like 30 that game. I did a play and I actually dunked, not on him, but around him. Well, if I dunked on Michael Jeffrey Jordan, I would tell the story to every Buddy that I came across. When you were trash talking Jordan, what were, exactly were you telling him? Do you remember? He's overrated. Um, he told Jordan he's overrated. So he's, <laughs> <laughs> how did he react? Wow, I did watch those words come out of my mouth, huh? It was very rude and disrespectful. And I took Michael out of the game and I said, Look, Michael, uh, I know you think we can still win this game, but we got to play, you know, in, 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 in two nights. And, and uh, Doug Collins was like, Mike, you know, man, no, he's 40 years old. I think Doug Collins also, you know, he wanted to protect MJ. If we make a little run, I'll put you back in the game. Well, we didn't. You know, he played, he didn't play well. We lost, it was really bad. Well, well I found out that uh, after the game was over that uh, he had eight points in the game and he broke a streak of like 860 something games and double figures. And so the media was on, you know, how do you think Michael's gonna be with this, you know? You know, the headlines was like, is MJ too old or should it tarnish his image and things like that? I said, you know, look, Michael's got championship rings, he's got gold medals, he's got NCAA championships, he's got MVPs. He's not gonna care about the eight points. So he, he met with the media and- We saw how MJ had that drive and how people changed on him when he didn't have a good game. So then we started looking at the media. We had a whole conversation amongst ourselves, like, wow, the media will tear you down in a minute if they'll tear down MJ. You know, that bus is lonely as a coach when you're sitting there after you've got your head handed to you. So I was sitting on the bus, and actually, I'll never forget this moment ever as a coach, that this to me was, was greatness. He got on the bus and he said, scoot over. And uh, he looked at me and he said, do you think I can still play? And I said, absolutely, that's why I'm here, to be here to help you. He said, you know, to be my coach, you have to believe in me and believe I can still play. And I said, Michael, I believe in you. He said, you did the right thing tonight. You did the right thing tonight. I don't care about the points, but I needed to know that you believe in me. Fast forward, we get on the plane. He has a few cocktails, smokes a couple cigars, all the things you're not supposed to do. Yeah. We get back about 3.30 in the morning in Washington. At 7.30 that morning, He's down in the fitness room with Tim Grover working out. And he was sitting there like, I don't even know if he slept that night because I believe it was a back-to-back. -back. If my memory serves me correctly, I 
don't even think he slept. Like he stayed in the gym and was just working out. Like you can't believe, now he's 41 years old. And there was like um, a few moves that he missed and he, he must have done the moves at least a hundred times. You know what I mean? With no defense. Like just did it over and over again. Like he was ready for that next game. And that very next game was when he had the amazing, you know, breaking the record for the oldest person game. We caught MJ when he came Man. back, you know, yeah. like he gave us 56, dog. Michael Jordan, of course, is coming off of a rather disappointing performance. In fact, he'd never <laughs> scored under 10. He went 866 consecutive games with at least 10 points until Thursday's game in Indiana. Of course, he didn't make a field goal in the second half, only played 25 minutes. Right. Yeah, that was on us. That was, right. Yeah, right. That was good, right. <laughs> I know how that whole shit played out. You dig what I'm saying? It's been a decade and a half. That, that's what I find very interesting. <laughs> there, there's some kids younger than him than uh, when he didn't score his last double figure digits. Like, he catch you from the beginning. Like, what's up, Mike? Right. Like, damn, what kind of cologne you got on? <laughs> it smell good, too. No. You know what I mean? <laughs> Boy, and then come out first, you know, hit the first three buckets, six points. Now Jordan's got it against P.J. Brown. Jordan for his first shot of the game. Davis. Jordan for his second straight shot. And his second straight that hits nothing but the bottom of the net. Just two of them yesterday. Beautiful move by Jordan. How about this? Now he got 14 points in the first quarter. He's got to defend Michael. Four for four. So, Jordan, still the only wizard to score. On the baseline, and now Michael says, I'll post you up and score again. So, Jordan, seven of nine, 15 points. Coach called a timeout. Paul Silas said, hey, y'all just going to sit and watch homeboy over here getting fried? I was like, damn, I ain't even think about it. You know what I'm saying? I was, couldn't even get off the fact that, like, what kind of cologne he was wearing. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't guarding him. I'm watching, like, damn. He ain't even stink. He ain't like, smell good. He ain't Oh, my goodness. Jordan 19 in the opening quarter. They was like, you guard him, BD. Uh, now, Jordan. McClure runs at him. Fouls him. Playing guard. Feeds Jordan. Jordan. Now against a seven-foot defender. I believe there have been four or five different defenders. Doesn't matter to Michael tonight. I remember one play, I thought I blocked that. So I was like, man, get that shit out of here. I said, smack. I was like, all right. I probably need to shut up. Take two. On the back down and the scoop. And Jordan has 30. Looking for 34 first-half points. He got it. And it's like... 35. Jordan in traffic. Bro, I remember. I literally. 42. Yeah. 42. Ogden tries to prevent the triple drive. Cannot. Like, that was crazy. Jordan. Jordan. 51 for Michael. 51 points later. That was crazy. That was that shit was crazy. Because he was like 40. Right. Wasn't he like 40? He was something yeah. like that. Too old to be doing that. So nah, we nah, it was like it, it, that shit was just happening. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? That shit was just happening, dog. You know what I mean? 51 points at age 41. He came back the next game. And I don't even remember who we played the next game. Was it? We played the New Jersey Nets the next night. After 50 point games, Jordan's averaging almost 33 points in games following his 54 point performances. So no slack off there. And Michael scores the first three times he has the ball. There you have it. Michael Jordan with his first basket thumping of the Charlotte Hornets. Jordan is open and hits again. And in both those meetings, in both those years, it's a long jump. And that's a three-pointer from Jordan. And on the season, Michael's fifth three-pointer in 30 attempts. He's got seven points. Byron Scott takes a timeout. And Scott wants time. And My Michael comes over and he says, I want the ball right there. The rest of the game and don't take me out till I tell you and so that's that's fine by me I got the, the pleasure of guarding the footwork mic yeah. <laughs> that Wizards mic yeah. bro. Jordan got it to another Jordan pulls up got it. MJ leads in what a shot Jordan draws contact and it goes a sensational shot by Davis, now back to Jordan with the rookie on him. 
Michael's fadeaway. Great shot. He's yelling quick 21. Michael's got another one. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a little lesson. Um, you know, I was eager that that night as well. Overzealous. Overzealous. Yeah. But, trying to get something off on them. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. <laughs> nah, like trying to stop him, man. You know, I want to just say I locked Mike down. Yeah. I'm saying it wasn't the Bulls, Mike. Just to say I did it. Yeah. But that ain't <laughs> right. It ain't go that way. It ain't go that way. <laughs> off the glass, beautiful shot. What a move, Jordan! Oh, oh tremendous yes. shot. You know, I'm, I'm eager. Lock yeah. him down. You know, I think defense. You know, yeah. y'all know me. I'm trying to block it, take it, whatever yeah. I can get. Man, he pump faking me, fading away, doing up and under. I'm like, <laughs> I'm a pogo stick out there. Jump, 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 jump. <laughs> Jumping at everything. Blank, blank, blank. Jordan fade away. Unbelievable. Nice move. He got another one. Yeah, 16th victory of the season. Jordan again. <laughs> So with two minutes to go in the game, he gives me the sign, like, that's enough. I take him out of the game. He walks over to the bench. I said, like, Michael, like, what happened tonight? He said, well, the guy who was guarding me was telling me, told me his back was hurting. Don't ever tell me you got a problem. He said, I'll, I'll make you pay for that with 46. And he looked at me and he said, I told you I could still play. 97 points. I, I, I mean, Mike, I was absolutely blown away. Uh, at what this guy could do, his his mind, how strong it was. One of the things that we were surprised on, and we was all talking, was like, wow, just a day ago, they were all trashing him, saying that he was terrible, he was old, he should never came back, all this. And in 24 hours, <laughs> now he's back to being MJ the God, you know what I mean? But we really gained a level of respect for him because, like I said, he didn't have to do none of that. Like his his legacy was set. He didn't have to play anymore. And he was playing through so many injuries that people didn't know about. I mean, he's playing on one leg. And this man do it at 40 years old on one leg. Like, come on, man. I mean, he had cut his finger, you know, with a, you know, doing a cigar. He had a, his, his finger was bent. He had a bad knee. Talking about dedication to the game. Like, it don't get no better than that. The competitive will and great, I've never, I've never seen anything like it. Mm -hmm. But that moment when he looked at me and asked me if I still believed in him, I said, this is the greatest player to play the game, wanting to know if I still believed in him. Uh, it was, it was a, it was a moment I would never ever forget. And how crazy was that story? If you did enjoy it, please help me out by hitting that like button. All the likes go a long way to supporting the channel. Let's aim for 5,000 likes for the next episode tomorrow. Here are two new MJ videos that I think that you will also enjoy. And I hope you guys have a great day. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.